by the time this interview is out, Reacher is going to be out. So congratulations on that release. How has it been building up to the release and now having it out? It's been it's been a ride. It's been a roller coaster. Um, you know, from auditions to actually filming it and then just a big break in between where we didn't hear much about it. And then the trailers came out and that was so exciting to see. Yeah. You know, I have I have a lot of high hopes for this and I know it's going to be great. Yeah, I mean it's a huge project. Do you have a favorite memory from set? I do. Yeah, the first day of filming, it was I think our first scene that we ever did. Um Maxwell and I had the scene where we were riding on a bike and you know we were riding up to this like group of bullies but it was a single person bike so he he had his hands on my shoulders and we were riding really quick and I never rode a bike with someone on my back so really it was, it was an experience for sure you know I was we were having to turn faster we were having to ride faster we fell over a couple of times we ran into some of the crew but we eventually got the hang of it I mean did it take a few takes to finally get into it or was it a one-time thing <laughs> It took it took quite a few takes you know yeah. you're like you want, us, you want us to ride faster on this okay okay we got that <laughs> was it downhill or it was, like it flat? Straight, but it, it was straight but it was on like bumpy rocks and there was like a curb that we had to go up so that sounds was, like fun <laughs> you know you learn a new skill yeah for sure now you can use it in everyday life yeah um, but for people who haven't seen the originals can you tell them a little bit what this show is about um, it's about this guy who goes into town, you know, he becomes kind of a detective. He kicks a lot of butt. There's a lot of action, a lot of comedy. Um, it, it will be exciting. It's going off the first book for this season and mm -hmm. it's very accurate to the novels. Yeah. I mean, it was a book series. It was also a movie series. Were you a fan of it before you booked this role? You know, I think, I think I was just too young when the movies came out. I never got around to seeing them. I didn't actually know about the Jack Reacher movies until, until I started filming this series. Really? So you didn't have to watch them beforehand? I didn't. I didn't. Um, although I do plan to watch it in the future. I want to watch um, the Reacher sh shows and then go back and watch the Tom Cruise versions. Yeah, for sure. There was a lot of filming, a lot of stunts, but were there any challenges that you faced when bringing your character to life? You know, I don't think so. Um, it helped a lot having Max, who was my age. You know, we were, we got we linked right away. We were brothers. It made it more more fun and comfortable on set. You know, there was there was a bit of stunts with like falling down. You know, pushing. We didn't get any serious fight scenes, unfortunately, but it was it was really fun. Mm -hmm. I mean, you play young Joe. Could you tell us a little bit more about your character? Yeah, of course. Um, Joe is Reacher's older brother. He, um, in our younger years, we're really close. We're linked together. It's just me and him against the world. Um, we have a lot of difficulties that we have to face. I'm trying to mentor him, be his role model, you know, teach him that maybe you don't always have to rely on your fist, but, you know, we're young and that's all we know. I mean, if you could describe this series as a whole in three words, what would you pick? Okay, I would pick... Uh, exciting adventurous and heartwarming is there a reason for those <laughs> all i know is that when we were filming our flashback scenes with the family it we was um there were some scenes where you know we were all close it was really nice you know ups and downs with the family you learn a lot about it mm -hmm. it's, it's a family it's a family film speaking about families that are going to be watching this what do you hope that they take from it i hope that families you know, I hope that I can relate to um, brothers who will see like me and Max playing brothers. You know, I have an older brother. And so I took a lot of inspiration from him to Joe, mm -hmm. same kind of relationship. So I hope that um, I hope that families all around can kind of relate to what we're going through in this. Mm -hmm, for sure. Talking more about you, do you have any future projects coming up that you could hint at or talk about? I do have a feature film in the works for later this year. I don't know how much how many details I can disclose about it yet but I will keep everyone updated and I'm really excited for it mm -hmm. I mean you've accomplished a lot in your career so far do you have any dream goals for your career in the future you know I think I think my all-time dream role is to be in some sort of Marvel or Star Wars movie okay be a superhero or be a supervillain anything like that would be my dream peak of that Fair enough. There are a lot of opportunities for both of those. 
Yes, thank you. That's that's the goal. Yeah. And yep. my last question for you. Is there anything that you would want to say to anyone either watching this interview or watching Reacher when it comes out? Um, it's gonna be amazing. I encourage everyone to watch it. I think within the first moments, everyone's gonna be hooked. It'll be really exciting. Um, yeah, that's all I gotta say. I mean, I can't wait to watch it for the first time. I hope we all enjoy it. I'm just excited to see how it turns out. Yeah, same. I'm so excited for this series, but thank you so much for taking the time to talk with me. It was so great to meet you. Thank you so much for having me. It's been a pleasure.